Um, of course, um, first of all, on behalf of uh, my Bob colleagues, um, I would like to thank EPC on a successful uh, conference and event. Uh, what most we liked about it is, you know, it's been a while since we've attended a face-to-face um, -face conference. So what, what was done is the hybrid type of event where we used an application which was developed during the pandemic days and the virtual conferences to apply and use it to talk to our fellow um, colleagues in, in the industry, to scan their QR codes, get their, all their information. So it was a nice touch, a nice hybrid event kind of situation. So I'd like to thank EPC for such a successful uh, conference and a nice application of technology within the conference itself. So we moved away from the paper style of conferences and started you know, using technology, uh, started gaining all the information just with a simple snapshot of a QR code. So first, uh, we really like that that special touch into the event, yeah. Well, you know, we had the opportunity to meet with our fellow colleagues in the industry. Um, we met with a lot of licensors, with a, lo a lot of technology, technology providers. You know, we got, you know, amazing insights into the future prospects in the industry, especially moving away from the standards, standard, you know, refining products to petrochemicals. We got an idea of what the future holds, especially for the Middle East in terms of having a sustainable approach, a sustainable product, a sustainable refinery. So, you know, it was a great opportunity to meet these people, meet these colleagues, you know, understand what the future holds, especially for the young generation such as ourselves. Um, so just having a face-to-face -face interaction with everyone, you know, just gave a nice touch and a good understanding of, uh, you know, what the future holds for us. So we know that decarbonization is the main target currently. We know that, you know, Petrochemicals is the new, the new standard, the new approach, or new, the new future demand requirement. Um, you know, in the Middle East, we're working a really difficult. Uh, you know, we're we're working, working really hard in the Middle East to go towards green energy, go towards green, sustainable approach. So, you know, I've seen a lot of investments in the Middle East. You know, okay, Europe might be ahead currently, but we're learning from them, and we're trying to be the, you know, the the pace setters in terms of being the next or the, the top technological providers or the top industries in the region. So, yeah. so you know, currently, with the current situation, we, we're trying to study the situation as hand to see what can we do, what is, you know, financially viable um, in, in order to advance ourselves, so not to be in the same position. Um, you know, smart investments that will lead to a future, you know, um, future profitable margin. So at, at the current stage, especially in our refinery in Bobco, you know, we'll have a huge expansion project coming up. We're, um, you know, expanding our feedstock. Where we're using, you know, bottom of barrel technologies. Uh, we're looking at, you know, oil fins. We're looking at petrochemicals. So we know the market is changing. So many, many producers in the Middle East are doing smart investments, trying to look at bankable approaches and getting the most margin out of their product. So we see a good shift in, in the situation currently in the Middle East. Yeah.